years. I like it. And I also did, I was a featured stunt guy on uh, Sons of Anarchy last year. Oh, were you? I don't know if you want to throw that back at me. You might give a free, you know, like plug. It. Yeah. Yeah, somebody said that today. Who, who's talking about that today? But so, I see something about that you know, today. The season is coming up, so who knows? Yeah, Theo Ross is my guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's on. It's rolling. Okay. Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com. We're here at Fox Studios. Just got done with the fights with the uh, perfect punch master himself, Jay Blazer. How's it going, sir? I'm exhausted. We've done three shows today, one yesterday, and it would be one thing if it was just with uh, Mark Munoz, but it's with Sugar Rashad Evans. He's exhausting. Yeah, he can he can be like that. Exhausting. No, he's great. It's great. You know, the great thing here is just... This is like my locker room, you know, I get my two sports, the NFL and, and here, and what I love about Fox NFL Sunday with me and Howie and Terry and Stray and, and Jimmy and Kurt, we have our, it's like our locker room, you know, and you just non-stop busting people's balls, non-stop. <laughs> the same thing here, it doesn't matter who comes in here, I'm just looking to get after guys, have fun, and that's really what it is, and, and I love whether it's Chell or, or Munoz or, or Brian Stan or, or, um, or um, sugar, and we just have a blast. Well, that's you, good, really, you, you never have to grow, grow up. It's like when you're in the gym, right? Everybody's yeah. messing with each other, busting each other's chops. We just, I just try not to curse on air. Otherwise, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, not you're not pulling a, a gray manner to right, right. on air. Not that we'll right. see how much money they take away from his uh, purse. <laughs> we'll see. Um, you know, I think guys would be interested in knowing your background, and not just the NFL guy, but you fought a couple times pro, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, two times. Actually, one time in Atlantic City. I was, uh, I'm not a fighter. I'm going to say that. I'm not a fighter. I, I train guys now. I'm not a very good fighter. I have a horrible gas tank, but at least I've done it. Mm -hmm. So I do know what it's like. Uh, at least I, I have done it uh, and trained with some great guys. Uh, when I was at, before I worked at Fox, I worked at CBS, and they would let me fight. And it was really a style versus style back then. I think it was right before the Ultimate Fighter one or right around. The, I think it was before. Yeah. Um, and it was... Uh, one time it was like this horrible gym in Jersey. It was like me, Jay Haran. I know Phil Baroni was there working Haran. But uh, my second time was uh, where I finally got a win. Uh, I was working at CBS at the time in the NFL today. And my boss there said, hey, you could do it just as long as you don't tell anybody. So I went down to Atlantic City, secret. Boardwalk Hall, won a fight, got in the car, back up, and I was on TV the next day, and nobody in the world had any idea. Mm -hmm. And all I had, I had a, I actually had an illegal headbutt in the fight, and I had a welt there, and I broke that knuckle. So no one saw this. Oh, wow. So, yeah, but it was good. I love okay. it. But then when I joined Fox, they said, you're done. No Never worries. again. And the, the day I started Fox in 2004, I just I, uh, won a submission tournament, uh, the Naga World Championships. But the next man over, there these heavyweights. And these two jagoffs tripped over each other and stepped on my head and face. And, like, <laughs> I broke my tooth and I had a black eye. It was my first day the next day on Fox. First day ever. And, um, oh, so you showed up to work. Yeah, and it was funny yeah. also because the day, I remember I had like a tryout for Best Damn Sports Show, and I was sparring, getting ready for one of my fights, and I took two kicks to the, to the uh, eye, and I thought I slipped them both, and all of a sudden, my eye shut. Mm. And my first day ever trying out for Fox, it was Best Damn Sports Show. Thank God but I iced it, my eye opened back up, but I still had black and blue hair, but we just covered it with some... Uh, with some makeup. And they said that's kind of too, yeah, so too, like, too risky. Yeah. And now here we are on Fox. But, so they took away eight years of my, of my career. Thank God, because I would have been like, you know, one in nine by now, but. Uh, You'd be broke like, like me instead. That would be terrible. Instead, you're on Thank TV God and you're making money. Like, and I mean, my original thing was, why can't I fight? I'm clearly not on TV for my looks. What's the difference? And I was given extremely stern warnings yeah. from all our bosses here at Fox. Yeah. Tell me straight out, you want to be a fighter? You can be a fighter, but you're not going to be on our airwaves. And now, it's like, hey, if, you want to do, oh, I'd be pretty cool. I'm like, yeah, well, now I'm 42, and I got, you know, six yeah. discs injured and just had two ankle surgery. I, I, you know, I got a 30-second uh, gas tank, and maybe that can't but, really but do much But you've done the UFC one-on-one -on -one breakdowns, and yeah. it seems like you have a you have background, like, training with Dan Henderson. And, and yeah, well, you know what else? So, I mean, you've trained with quite a few guys. Yeah, actually, I helped, uh, I was um, one of Tyron Woodley's coaches for his fight against uh, Paul Daly. I've uh, worked with a bunch of guys I was with, with, uh, with uh, Couture. For his fight going into uh, Machida, but more than that, and Randy and I, we've teamed up uh, where we train pro athletes. I have something called MMA Athletics, yeah. where we've trained guys like Jared Allen, Patrick Willis, Clay Matthews, the Atlanta Falcons two years ago, St. Louis Rams two years ago. Um, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Guys, we've trained, we've trained baseball, hockey, professional lacrosse. So we originally did it. We trained Jared Allen, and 
he went out and had, went from like eight sacks to 15 and a half. All of a sudden, all these other players started calling me saying, whatever you did for him, help me. And it was me, Ryan Bader, C.B. Dalloway, Aaron Simpson, those guys out in AZ Combat. Um, and now it's really turned into something pretty neat. And the reason why I did it originally is really more than anything to really educate. If fans out there who used to have that those ridiculous labels on this Contact sport that I love, this, yeah. if they see Clay Matthews doing it, and I also think, whoa, wait a minute, maybe this is kind of cool. So really, we were doing this for education. That kind of, and that's one thing that, that you know pisses me off a lot of times about you know people, you know the, the Twitter trolls who love to kill you. Hey, I have always tried to, for years, I fought when I was a mainstream reporter, and a lot of it was to bring attention to the sport that I love. From doing the Pride Fighting Championships all the way to now, I've always tried to, if I could, try and be a spokesman for the sport and just really try and help educate because it's it's my it's it's the greatest individual sport yeah. in the world. And I think you have been, and and now it's here. I mean, how does it make you feel when you hear the Fox Sports music yeah. play and boom, it's UFC. It's not F NFL. I mean, I think that says, yo, we've I get chills. Yeah. I'm like, oh, we've it's arrived. Surreal. It's surreal. You know, the funniest part is we had our first fight here. Uh, afterwards, there was a huge party, and it's all my boys I've hung out with for years. You know, it's it's uh, you know the Chucks and the Randys and all these guys, and then Punk uh, Punk Ass and, and, and Scrape and all these different guys there in that world. Suddenly, with my bosses at Fox, it was surreal. Yeah. It was almost like, oh my God, I gotta hide from my. Wait a minute, no, they're together. I can't get. Oh, okay, cool. It was just it was it was world collide. It's okay. It was odd. You know what I mean? It's but, okay. Let me tell you something. It fit. Because my guys from Fox, all my bosses from Fox, yeah. it's it's working with your friends. It really is. Even with the top executives here, it's working with your friends. It's a family. And the yeah. same thing, the UFC or the MMA world, the mixed martial arts community, it's a family. So it's working with your family there too. So it's, I guess my, nice. my two families come together. Well, let's talk about the fights we got tonight. The great fights on FX. This was a, and, and great prelims on Fuel as usual mm -hmm. on Fuel TV. Um, you know, let's let's talk about the main event, Green Maynard. Do you think he deserved the decision? Yeah, I think because he pressed the action. Absolutely. You no, know, look, I, I I understand why Clay had the the strategy that he had. Just think he needed to do more off it. I think early in the fight he was using the footwork to stay away, hit him almost like Carlos Condit with Diaz, hit him yeah. back out, and come back in, hit him back out. But then it became running. So I do agree on that. I understand what he was trying to do because if he just stood there. With great grace, is way too strong, way too strong. So I understand the strategy, but again, I think the strategy went from one thing and you know, kind of downgraded to something else, where it just became running. And you know, it, it's a fight; you got to stand there and fight. And the, and the judges seem to be, you know, they did it last week. Uh, one judge gave a, a fight to Ramos, that, or Ramos, that honestly, you know, just because the other guy was wrestling. Right. Uh, you know, lay and pray, and, and right, right. they go again. They're starting to go against it. You know, they want to see guys trying to finish fights. Um, in the prelims, Hatsu Hiyoki, I thought he won two out of the three rounds. You did? Yeah, no, I, I did. did. But I did because that's the thing. Also, he took Lamas down, but Lamas did a lot more of the downs. Kind of laying there. You saw that he was laying but, there. But, the, but the crazy thing was, is he almost got guillotined a couple times, but he would put his head back into position. So he never tried to advance his position to get out of trouble. He would just put his head back because he was so tired. It was like, you know what? I'd rather you. You know, like when you're trying training. To choke me. I you know, know some Japanese we call fighters. Gauntlet, that, yeah. or, or different guys are like, you know what? I'm so tired. Just hit me. I'd rather you hit me than I move. When, <laughs> yeah. when you're like in your fourth round of the sparring, when you have four or five guys sitting outside yeah. the cage and they're just coming around robbing on you, and you're just like, just go ahead and just. Hit me, and that's fine. I'd rather do that than yeah, move. Yeah. It's the same thing. It was just like, you know what? I, I've gotten out of this guillotine, team, but it was comfortable being down there, so I'm going to go back. So that's why I think Lamas won the fight. Even when they went, when, when Ioki would posture up, Lamas was the only one doing damage, even from his back, and, and, and not Ioki. Well, you know, and that, I guess that's what, you know, Dana White's interview on Fuel, that's, you know, he wants to see guys trying to finish a fight, sure. trying to get damage, um, you know, talking about the Spencer Fisher, Sam Stout through. Right. I think that fight delivered, it's always going to yeah. deliver. Yeah, every single so time. And uh, I, I do think Spencer was landing the, the harder blows, I think you can see that, but, um, you know, the fight stats were pretty even except the takedowns. Right, and so, that's obviously yeah. won it, and, you know... I think it's a subjective thing. You look at it and say, okay, we have more takedown. He had more takedown. So, uh, but I do agree with Dana uh, when he said, yeah, he had the takedowns, but he didn't do any damage. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's the key here. You have an opportunity, yeah. you know, you can't just, unfortunately, I think too many judges look at it and go, well, that guy's on his back, so he isn't winning the fight. And it's just not the case. I think I would like to, I'd love to see more judges look at it and say, mm -hmm. 
what's happening once they are on the ground. Not just that they are, and this yeah. guy's on top, what's happening now that they are on the ground. Sure, sure. And, and I, the other fight I guess I want to talk about is Brian Ebersole. I think he's a beast at 170, yeah. showing his experience. And now he's talking about going down to 55. He is so incredibly, um, such a mature fighter, obviously 60 fights there. And you saw it tonight, going against T.J. Wahlberger, there's a guy who I would have thought, you know, he'll, he'll even fake getting hurt yeah. just to take you down. And he had such a deep darts. And you saw Ebersole just relax. And so many other guys cool. stiffen up. The hip. Yeah, they'd stiffen up and panic and... Man, he was just relaxed, and you saw his head was changing different colors like mine normally does, and he was just so incredibly relaxed in there. Um, yeah, he's a guy you have to throw right in there because he's going to have so many different wrinkles so much that you're not waiting for. Yeah, right? he can be in any situation. Oh, you're throwing up a triangle. Well, I've been here in 30 of my 60 flights. Okay, and I'm going to donkey Well, he needs to change up the, the, the manscape. Yeah, the, the, you don't like the hair. Uh, the hair is a little weird. Whether yeah, it's pointing up or down, yeah, I don't know what it's I, saying. First of all, I don't know why I point up. <laughs> <laughs> if I had, well, I do have a chapter. I, you know, I wouldn't point up. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, uh, guys, you know, Fuel TV and FX and Fox deliver again. Um, you know, coming forward to the July 11th card, Mark Munoz will be uh, taking on Weedman. Right. And, um, you know, uh, when I tell you, we, wore, we wore Munoz out today. We had something waiting for him. He came in, and Rashad, he came over the other day, and I'm always looking to play practical jokes on guys, whether it's poor Strahan and Howie Long there, like my two main targets here at the football season. And... Munoz comes in and Rashad and I five days ago started putting together different jokes for you to play yeah. because he's such a nice guy. So for he comes in here and right away we started as if Rashad and I really thought that that Bradley won the fight against Pacquiao, yeah. and you know we know the you know, Filipino pride is going to take over, and we started wearing him out, <laughs> just saying like, please don't tell me you thought Pacquiao won the fight. He's like, how could you? And Rashad starts going, oh, I clearly had Bradley ten to two, and and he's like, do you guys have eyes? And we were for an hour and a half we wore him out, wow. like we want to see him get mad, and you can't get him mad. Yeah. We we started getting him a little bit there, and then Rashad does one of these. I wish I was Filipino, then I'd win every fight. You guys, you never lose a fight. Oh, we just got after him. It was fantastic, dude. It was great. Finally, we saw him getting a little pissed off for like, all right. Uh, let's finally tell him here before he go a lot of air on that. But it was great, man. We had him. we were all getting him on a raffle. Well, thanks for the stories, Jay. Yeah, uh, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. And guys, appreciate go to comamainow.com for all your information. You know, subscribe to my YouTube page. And uh, guys, try and you know hit up your cable provider to get Fuel TV because these post fight shows, the weigh ins, all the information, and all the prelims have been amazing. You know, so if you're missing on the prelims, you guys are missing out. And uh, I guess follow us, folks, at Fuel TV at Jay Glazer. And the Wolfman. Pow. Take care, guys. Bye. Cool. Thanks. Thanks.